What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. As promised, I'm going to compare these two tool systems. If you see my last video, which I'll drop a link to click on that if you wanna watch that, of why I got a new tool bag that fits on this versus this system, which doesn't have nearly as many options. So we'll go through, I'll show you what I carry in each one, what are some pros and cons of both, and which one I like better. Now one is definitely more expensive than the other, but they're both good systems, but one is definitely better than the other. Okay, I'll start with the rigid box. So this will run you for this one, this one, and this one, about a hundred bucks if you can get it on sale. Right off the bat, one of the things that I like about it is the price point. It's half the price of that one. Another thing that I like is it does have a few attachments that can go on these three original boxes. I'll show you that too. I will say though, I've had a few issues with this and I'll go over that. The first issue is this latch right here. I've had this latch just slides up into this plastic here. I've had that fall off on me and ha I've had to put that back on. So that's the first con that I have. As far as taking the boxes off, that's another con to me. So in order to take the boxes off, you have to unlatch this side and unlatch this side to take off a box. Another thing, is the width of it so the width of this is not as wide and I'll show you once you add on a couple more things on top of this it wants to tip over a lot if it's not strapped down another thing I don't like is this handle this handle is kind of you can see how loose this is and I've actually had this part of the handle break on me once already it moves pretty easily up and down but this handle is just janky and like I said, this is broke on me once, so I had to return it and get a new box. You start to stack more stuff up since this handle is straight up and down. If you got stuff over this box, it pinches your hand in here terribly when you're trying to get it in and out of your trailer, back and forth on the job site. Here's the first box, clear lid on the top. In order to get this box to stay on top of this one, you have to push this up and push this up and then it clasps. And then you can add this one that I have on top of that. Now, once you get this high with this thing, if it's not strapped down, I can guarantee it's going to tip over. It just does. In my trailer anyways, it tips over. It doesn't stay. And I've had this thing tip over on me so many times. If it's staying stationary, it's okay. If you're constantly moving this thing in and out, though, and it, it, you forget to strap it down one time, it's going to tip over. It doesn't take much, see? I mean, I'm barely touching it. It's, it will tip over. I'll give you guys a close up. So see what I was saying? This is gonna pinch, this pinches my hand in here now. Okay? So how are you gonna get this back and forth on the job site with this handle janking around the whole time and this hitting this? The second you tip this forward, all the weight is coming down on your hand and your arm, which you pretty much have to put pressure on here to keep it off of your arm, which would be even worse if it's even taller, but. Now every time you wanna take a box off, Undo that, undo that, box comes off. Undo that, that box comes off. So it's not the easiest way to get all the boxes off. All these boxes do have this waterproof seal on it. How waterproof it is, I'm not really too sure. So I'll go over everything that I carry in this one. This is mostly set up for outside stuff. So. Everything in here is all deck stuff. I don't want to pull everything out of there because I got it somewhat organized, but decking, uh, fasteners, joist hanger nails, I got a couple camel fasteners, drill bits, uh, some of the quick bits, the long ones. One thing I do like about this box, though, is it has this extra thing here to put stuff in, and that actually can come in and out. See, so that part, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that part actually comes out so you can stuff I just got shims in there now, but you can stuff some extra stuff in the back there, which is nice. This box here, tool tray on the top, tools in the bottom. Like I said, this isn't organized as well as I would like it, because most of this stuff, I have mostly cordless tools now. So I do have a grinder that's corded, my framing hammer that I only really use for demo, an old chalk line I just don't want to get rid of, because my uncle gave me this as my first chalk line, like, gosh, got to be 20 years ago now. So... Uh, the siding tool in there. This is just a random box. You can see I don't even have these filled. So this is just random some cabinet screws. Some more screws. 
things for my multi-tool. This box here is all mostly exterior screws, storm door screws. This head was the one that has a clear lid on there, and then the totes. So that tote just has all exterior and interior screws. Anyway, so that's the rigid box. That's about everything that you can hold. This one, that one, and this one is what you can get for 100 bucks. And then those are extra. Overall, not a bad system for the price, but when I go over the other system, to me, that just blows this one out of the water. Okay, now we'll go over this system. This is the Milwaukee Packout. You get three boxes on the original Packout if you get it in a bundle. This one, that one, and that one. This will run you 200 bucks. And now we're talking double the price of the rigid one. I'll wait to the end to tell you whether I think it's worth it or not to do this and pay the double the money. I'll go over some things that I like, a few things I don't like, but in all honesty, I don't have many bad things to say about this system. The first awesome thing about this is compared to the other one, the rigid one is everything comes off with a push button. Push it up, box slides right off. It's so easy. Another thing that I like about this one is the handle. See what they did here? The handle is straight up and down, but when you get up to where your hand is, they actually contoured the handle back this way so your hand doesn't get pinched with anything that's up higher than these three boxes. I added this small, slim box and then my tool bag on top of this, but as you can see, kind of hard to tell, but see how I got more room there? So that's not going to go and pinch my hand in there like the other one. And then this handle is a lot more sturdier than the other system. Another thing that I like about this one is this is heavy duty this is a lot heavier duty than the other system but it is heavier now so if you got just a pickup truck you're gonna have to take these boxes off one by one and throw them in there's no way if you've got this thing loaded up with tools you're gonna be able to get this in and out of your truck as one whole piece it's just heavier duty you know the wheels are better it just seems more sturdier the boxes are nicer these are nicer they seem like they're gonna hold up a lot better it's wider so it's not gonna tip over and the options for this are, there's so many. There's slim boxes like this, there's deeper ones, there's ones that are half this size, there's bags, there's totes, they got a cooler you can put on there. As far as that goes, the options with Milwaukee are almost endless. They, from their tools to their bags to this system are just, there's so many options out there compared to the other ones. Now, when this first came out, they didn't have that the uh, totes where you can just drop stuff in without having to clasp everything down, but now they have those out too. They got a dolly now that they make for these. They have uh, drawers now that are actually coming out. They haven't come out yet. And then they make uh, a plate that you can screw onto the wall, your trailer, and put these boxes on edge like this in the trailer. So that's another option they have. So these are just endless options here. But like I said, it's gonna cost you double the money. So that's 200 bucks for these three boxes. I can't remember what I paid for this. Maybe 40, 50 bucks. Like I mentioned before, push of a button, box comes off. Push of a button, box comes off. It's just way easier system than the other one, taking and unclasping every single one, setting it down, setting it down versus doing it this way. Another cool thing I like about this box is it's the medium sized one, but it has this handle on there. So when you go to pick it up, let's say you're gonna carry it somewhere, when you lift this up, if you don't have these clasped down, this handle will prevent this lid from going and coming open. So that's another good thing. Okay, here's what I carry in these original three boxes. I'm just gonna go through it quick. Another good feature is with these, you can these come with this. So you can stack these up like that on both sides. This one, I just got stud finder in there, small tape measure, scribe pencil and then here's just a bunch of random stuff Collins clamps bifold door hardware door hinges tools i would say the only thing about this is you know these hammers i don't even really use they're just in here because they're old and i i came across them and i just have them in there for some odd reason but the only thing i don't like is see you don't have much room for the for hammers you gotta put them at an angle for them to fit in there but nonetheless they still fit in there this side, which these come with this, these open and close. I just got some stained pens and stuff in there, nails, nail sets. And then this one, these ones are deeper, so this has random screws 
and all my sanding stuff when I'm sanding down trim and things like that. So that's the top box. All in all, it's it's a good set. You know, you got two stackable boxes on this side, two stackable boxes on that side, and then stuff you can throw in the middle. This is the middle box, which I just have my finish belt and pouch in there, so I don't have to wear my big tool bags when I'm working inside for interior work because I don't want to bang up the doors and stuff or the walls. Coping saw, another hand saw, rasp, and then just spare drill and driver bits, knee pads. And this, this can still hold a lot more, don't get me wrong. If you had this more organized, you could definitely hold more stuff in it. And now they may even make it too where you can have the foam stuff in there. I just, I don't know if I'm sold on the foam because, you know, some of the boxes, once you put the foam in there, you're done. Like it all goes in one exact spot and you can't stuff more stuff in there if you wanted to. This is the large box. It comes with these two in there. Actually, I take that back. This comes with one of them. This comes in here. And I just moved it so both of these are in here all the time like this. Shims, sandpaper, my shimming tool for, it's an airbag for doors. I can take this off. And this is corded stuff. Actually, I got a lot of wasted space in this case. I could do a better job. This is corded stuff that I don't use very often, but I got a orbital sander, belt sander, Brad nailer, some shims, and you can see there's a lot of room in here. I'm kind of honestly I'm wasting space now that I'm going through this and looking at this. I have a finish nailer and brad nailer that's cordless that I guess I should just probably put in there because I bring that in every interior job that I do anyway, so it could just go in here, but it gives you an idea. It's got the seal around here too to be waterproof. One thing you have to keep in mind about this, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but if you have a smaller tool bag like this, I was wanted to put my cordless tools in this one, but I can't clasp this and that on there because that one has to be turned and going that way. But, you know, if you can't afford this, don't buy it. Buy this one. This is 100 bucks to three boxes. It'll get you more organized. It'll get you by for however long you need to get by for it until you can save your money and get the nicer box. I bought this one first. I thought it would be better, which in my experience, it was. Okay, I haven't had anything break on this since I've had it, and I've used these both just about equal. I've had this one, this fell off on me, the handle broke back there. I think this one is a better value for your money because of the ruggedness of it. Oh, there's so many accessories for this pack out now, it's just insane. My overall pick, if I had to choose and I had the money to do it, buy this one. Like I said, this one's an okay box, but you know, it's just, it's not built as well. Okay, so that's a quick overview of both of them. What I like and don't like, the price point. Obviously this one was the winner. If you have any comments, drop them in the comment section below. If you found out why you like this one better, let me know. If you like this one better, tell me why. Or if you got some, you know, way of making these boxes better, you know, definitely drop a comment down. I know that they, people have been like modifying these two to make them even better with their own things that they came up with but don't forget guys subscribe to my channel give me that thumbs up hit that bell for notifications for future videos I appreciate everybody's support when I get all these likes comments it just makes me want to keep going with the channel so hopefully you guys got something out of it and we'll see you on the next video